What's up everyone? In this video, we're surprising my friend who is a professional Valorant player for a team here in Europe. We're gonna surprise him with a Valorant split hoodie of his favorite agent. Let's do this. So this is a hoodie I got for him from Wish. Let me show it to you a little bit. Not the best quality, but still not bad. Uh, so this is gonna be like elements I'm gonna use from this. So this is, uh, I think this is Jet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the, a key part of this hoodie and implement it into this hoodie. One second. So I also got him something from ASOS, which is a blank black hoodie. Let's just open it up. So yeah, so this is a blank hoodie, um, no, no logos, nothing. That's what I mean by blank. I know it's black and it's 100% cotton. It is fleece, but it's actually not bad of a fleece. Uh, it doesn't seem to build lint at all, actually. So we need to combine those two. The first thing I want to do is figure out what element from this hoodie I want to put into this hoodie. So let's get started. What I want to use is obviously like the whole part of Jet, the agent, but I also, I don't want to have it as a whole. I want to use it almost as like, like a mosaic, like almost a different element. So like the face, the shoulder, but I want to trace the elements I want to use and what I want to use for sure are the blades so we have one here on the back we have one on the front and we have one on the cap and maybe I can find another one I don't know but so far I only find three I kind of want to do a design where you have a little piece of jet on the front and like a big design on the back and maybe some sleeve details or on the hood itself but what I want to do right now is I'm gonna use chalk and trace the elements I'm gonna use for sure so let's begin. All right, so I got the thing traced on the hoodie just to know where I'm going, but I also like to go with the flow as I film those videos. So I'm gonna begin cutting and then we'll figure out what we do as we go on. But I think I have a good idea of what I want ultimately. So let's do it. So I'm done with the planning of the jacket, or the hoodie, sorry. And I wanna show you what I'm gonna do. In the last video, I did this jacket here with the tapisserie. And here, I used a technique where I was starting backwards. So if you're not sure, go back to the last video. And I'm gonna show you on this video the technique anyway. It just looks super clean. Let's just get started. I'm super stoked. I wanna start with the front uh, designs and then we'll do the back. This is gonna be the front area. And what I wanna do with this front, guys, I wanna implement two blades on front so it's more like oh if you know you know on the front like if you know those are jet blades so you know and then on the back we'll do all the details with the face and everything so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to trim a little bit of the fabric because this is a bit too much i'm going to try to make the ends pointy as the blade i think it could be a cool detail hopefully i'll pull this off all right so we cut the excess fabric and now we're going to sew so Let's just do like this. I want to do some sort of like angle. So we're going to do like this and like this. All right, this looks cool. Let's just pin. All right, I need to load the bobine. We're going back to black, like Amy Winehouse. That was not my base joke, but okay, cool. Whatever, you know. <laughs> so let's load up the bobine and then we go. Oh my god, it's such a thick hoodie. This is like a, it's a winter hoodie almost. Let me show you what, I, with what I'm struggling with. The hoodie is so thick. It's so... Oh my god, oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna stop here. Keep the fabric flat. Okay, second is actually better than the first, so that's a good news. All right, so this is my favorite part of the process and I'm gonna show it to you on the front of it. So check this out. So you see here, we stitched backwards a little bit and you see the first blade and the second blade that were stitched on top. And now I'm gonna take a knife and snip this part and cut around the area. 
the blade goes all the way here. Okay. I have an idea. Maybe I can just stitch it back like this and then just leave some space. Because on the jacket video, I folded it like this. I tucked it. And here, maybe I can fold it like this so it looks like it's a, a ripped sort of hoodie. Okay, cool. And let's check this one out. So again, making sure I don't cut the right fabric. And then going around. So right now I'm just gonna leave this like this. I know it's not finished, but I just wanted to see uh, how, what it would look like. So basically here you have the front and this is like the chest design and you'll have like two blades coming off like this. And if you know it's from Valorant, well, it's a nice touch. And I think I'm just gonna stitch it like that, you know, just like that. All right, cool, let's move on. All right, change my mind. I'm doing it now because I really wanna see the end result. So I cut it a little bit here and here just so the fold works better. And I'm gonna do a single stitch around and see what it turns out like. As you saw, as you can see, sorry, I sewed the four pieces on the back and now it's time for prayers because I need to cut it from the outside and I need to make sure it's aligned. So I hope we don't have like some weird arm or like shoulder starting this and then the arm continuing here. I just hope it lines up because there's no turning back. I mean, once I cut the holes and it's just like, there's nothing I could do. I double, triple check before and it's supposed to go, but I guess, yeah, let's just found out. Moment of truth. All right, let's start with the face. I think this is the one. Okay, okay, that doesn't look bad. It feels like the shoulder here going down the arm. So yeah, it looks, maybe this doesn't, like maybe the line here is not perfect, but at least like the hands, it's okay. I'm happy with it. Now we have a last part here, which is like the little blades on the thigh. Let's do this. Okay, I guess this one is not perfect, but it's not the most important. Yeah, the, uh, it's supposed to be like a little bit on the continuity of, of this arm and it's, yeah, it's not quite it, but I think it's okay. I think this, this line, this line here looks good. So let me put this on a hanger. I just want to see what it looks like. And I do, I'll do the last stitches here. So we'll see even more of this fabric. It's kind of too bad I can't try it out on myself just to make sure it fits and it feels nice. So yeah, I just need to do the finishing touch on the back and then we should be fine. All right, so I'm done and I've been sewing all day and I wanna do a little detail with some spray paint. So here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna paint the tip of the drawstring bright red so it matches the Valorant colors. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna sandpaper the metal because those are metal. This will allow the metal to just absorb. It's not gonna absorb, but the paint to stick to it a little bit better. And we'll do a little bit of the fabric as well. So let's do it. So now I just need to roll. So here we got the two things, they're drying and I'm making sure it doesn't drip on my floor. It reminds me a bit of the off-white hoodie that they used to make. All right, we're finally done. I'm gonna fold this bad boy, pack it and surprise my friend with it. I just can't wait for his reaction. Let's get it. Ah ouais, tu t'es chauffé, mais non Tu penses quoi, Joan Il est vraiment archi clean, c'est archi stylé ce que t'as fait en vrai. Le... Franchement, le dos, il est incroyable. Eh, mais parce qu'en fait, moi, je l'ai jamais vu porter, parce que bah c'est pas ma taille, tu vois. Il est vraiment archi cool, mec. Vas-y, fais-moi un petit 360, là. <rire> ah, mais vraiment, c'est stylé, en vrai. Ah, franchement, mec, euh, incroyable. Même la taille et tout, parfait, les manches Ah oui, c'est vrai que la taille, ouais, ouais. Parce que je... 